Hey, this is Harold from Giant Loop, and we're here at the AIM Expo. And we connected here with our friend David, who's putting together uh, one of the first American Maui Moto race class teams to go compete in Dakar because, believe it or not, no American has ever finished in that class at the Dakar Rally. And these guys are setting out to do it. So, pretty exciting uh, wow. project. Tell us about it. We are ramped up. You know, the Dakar just finished for 2021, and uh, we know it takes a year of planning and process to get there. The Malay Moto class is really unique, and we did a bunch of historical research, and really in the 45-year history, no American has ever completed the Malay Moto class. Tell people what the class represents. So, to give you perspective, most people show up to the Dakar with a full team complement, mechanics, showers, tires, you know, five, six, eight people, even on the privateer side of the game. Clearly the OEMs and the big Hondas and KTM guys show up even with more. And they have carved out a small uh, group class called Malay Moto. Malay is French for trunk. And essentially what you get is an 80 liter box to put your stuff in. <laughs> and within that effort, you have to get across the finish line after 15 days of racing. So when you come in at the end of the day and your days can range anywhere from 300 to 800 kilometers of racing a day, you have a box, you have a compound that you are restricted to, you get a tent and a sleeping bag and you have to do all your oil changes, all your filters, any mechanical problems. You're not allowed any outside support whatsoever. These are like the Iron Man of the Dakar, right? I, I joke with one of my team guys, Kyle, it's like running the Iditarod without a dog sled. Yeah. Right, and so if you've ever seen some of the Dakar footage, they tend to highlight some of these guys because it's just the attrition in the Dakar is huge, right? Yeah. People start and never finish. We did a lot of research for a while. We thought that there was no American that even entered the class, but we found out six years ago a guy had entered it as an American. He made it to stage five before he crashed out and was done. Mm. So we're taking five guys over the line uh, this year. So our goal is to really bring we're a team, but we're a team of individuals because we recognize the support effort of it. And so the team is helping us get over to Saudi Arabia and ride some of the landscapes and deserts in the area. So nice. the, it's phenomenal if you haven't seen some of the pictures and the imagery of what happens over in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, it's pretty spectacular. Yeah. So tell people how they can get on board with following along, supporting your efforts. Uh, we love the support. We need it to make it happen. Um, you can go to uh, AmericanRallyTeam.com. Uh, really search for us on Facebook, American Rally Originals. Uh, you'll connect up. we got a GoFundMe site. We're going to be at a bunch of events. Next one up on the board for us is the Sonora Rally in Mexico, right across the border from Yuma. And so a bunch of us will be there doing some training uh, and some promotion, and then we're rolling through the United States. So there's going to be a new Kota rally coming up in Colorado, Utah. Yeah. It'll be one of the only AMA-sanctioned navigation-style rally races. For some of those guys maybe that don't understand what a navigation race is, it's a full-blown race where what you get is a, a digital compass, an odometer and a set of print, printed instructions on how to travel. Right. And so somewhere between full speed, you have to continue to make course adjustments. Two kilometers, take a left, three kilometers, take a right, four kilometers, you're gonna go through 1,200 foot high sand dunes for <laughs> right. 30 kilometers <laughs> where you need to maintain a heading. Yeah. And if you miss that spot, there's a lot of penalties and issues around just finishing the event. So yeah. many people get lost out in the desert. Yeah. And so the navigation skill is critical to make this happen. That's a, one yeah. of the big pieces of it, you know? So, yeah, yeah it's Super awesome. cool stuff. I ah. mean, it just to combine so many things. And it's like, to me, it's like one of the most incredible sort of racing endeavors on the planet, period. Like in any sort of discipline. It's, uh, it's known as the world's toughest race. Yeah. And, you know, and we've decided to join the world's toughest class of the toughest race and see what we can do. Uh, one of our teammates, Kyle, is kind of our historian. He did the Dakar in 2020 uh, as a rookie and finished in the top 10. And so um, just from his efforts, we've all decided this is something we want to do. It's a bucket list thing for many people. Yeah. And uh, so our five-man team's ready to rock and roll. So we're, awesome. we're just doing planning. We're really excited that General, you know, Giant Loops really stepped up to help out and sponsor some stuff as well. So thank you for making that Happy happen. Happy to be and on board. Looking forward to yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. So keep an eye on podcasts and all the social media Excellent. stuff. If you want to get interested, you can always just reach out to me directly. I'm david at rideventure.com. 
and I'm happy to share with you the story and the efforts we've all got to get there. So Excellent. Well, yeah. thanks for talking with us. Check it out, support the team, and uh, follow along as these guys prepare to go tackle one of the pinnacle racing um, classes and events in the world. So go light, go fast, go far. We'll see you on the trail.